Hi, it's Martin Pahiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. Today on the shortcut series, I'm going to show you how to work efficiently with the crop tool. The crop tool is shortcut C, so you can just press C and then you will have the crop tool selected. And in Photoshop CS6, we have a completely dif different way of working with this tool, but you need to make sure that you have the classic mode turned off. So here in the, the options on the top, make sure this one is turned off. If that is turned off, then in CS6, you can see a different way of working with the crop tool. But what is also available in previous versions is to make sure that you don't delete the cropped pixels. So that means if I crop this image, let's say to something like that, but then when I go back to the crop tool, I can still go back to the original canvas size easily. So even if I crop this top part or something radical like that and press enter, once I go back to the crop tool and make changes, I can still go back to the original. So that is quite useful and it's, it's good to use this option. But there is another thing which you should also know about the crop tool is that you can also use it not just to crop away parts of your uh, canvas, but also you can extend the canvas. If you drag it further out, as you can see, you can extend the canvas. If you hold down Alt while you are uh, dragging the corners of your crop, you can also extend it at the same time to all sides. And you can also hold down shift together with alt or option to uh, uh, keep the original aspect ratio. So that's just a quick way to extend your canvas if you need more space. Now, there is another thing which you can do with the crop tool and that is straightening. Again, this is a new feature in CS6, but you can find the straighten option in uh, previous versions as well. Let me just show you, if I want to straighten this image, I can simply click on the straighten uh, option or icon here on the top and drag a line on the image which will follow the straight line in the image. Once I press enter, you can see we already straightened our photograph. But just like before, if we have still the crop tool selected, we can do a manual uh, turn for the image. So we can drag it around and turn it around. And you can see how easily Photoshop can extend the canvas automatically when we uh, do the rotation with the crop tool. So that's really handy. And just as a side note, while we are here with this photograph, I wanted to show you that with the Spot Healing Brush Tool set to Content Aware, you can easily get rid of lines like this here on the image. So for example, if I draw over this line here, it will easily get rid of it using the Content Aware Feel feature. So you will see it got rid of it completely and you can do the same here with this line as well I'm, I'm not going to draw all over it but you will see that it even works on a more complicated area like that and it's almost perfect if i continue i can get rid of every little detail here but mainly why i wanted to show you this example is how to straighten a photograph so remember with your with the crop tool, you can uh, crop non-destructively without deleting any parts. You can also extend your canvas with the crop tool or you can straighten your photographs. And there is one more thing I wanted to show you. When you have an image which is divided visually into separate parts, but you want to save them into separate documents, there is an automated feature called File automate, crop and straighten photos. If you use this option, so it's once again, it's about cropping. So if you use this option, it will, Photoshop will automatically uh, save these or uh, create documents for each of those sections from your image. And now, as you can see, we have them all in separate files and I just simply need to save them. So that is a really clever way also to divide uh, visually separated elements from your document. And that's all what I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will join me next time as well. Thanks a lot for your attention.